Right, we have another land expansion here. I now got the point with the shrines. One is here, one is here. Yeah, this one is nearer to the nearer than the other ones probably. And here's a chest hidden. Yeah, let's the next ten minutes I will go treasure hunting. Now I have meat. We don't need meat, but meat is great anyway because we'll probably need it afterwards. So now cards three times. First one is here. Kindling. We don't need it, but we will need it at some time or point or whenever. Right now another card. Clay. Still don't need it, but it might be useful. Yeah, well, just to every single card we don't need now, I will say it will be useful later. And plaster. I think we needed it sometimes, but not now. Great. Aha. Uh, right, and I'm first. Yeah. This is getting annoying. It's like you're finding treasures with nothing in it, or nothing you need. It's like fishing, and you're finding just and you're fishing just boots. Now we have plaster. Yeah, at the moment we needed plaster. Of course, there was nothing there. Yeah, great. I see. Coal. Yeah, coal is something we need. Now this point is getting more and more useful. So probably somewhere here. Another useful chest might be hidden. So if you see something I don't, you may of course, and you shall write it in the comments, because I don't have more than two eyes. You have, because you are a lot of viewers, and I'm just one, and, well, you know what I mean. Right, so, nothing, nothing... Nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Yeah, and people are dying, but again, we're reproducing them, so. The only loss is the loss of belief. And we will, at some point, have probably plenty of belief. At least I hope so. Pickaxe! We need one for mining. Great. Yeah, I'm quite sure we will expand in this direction now. From here, we could probably yeah. just destroy this mountains, because nobody needs this mountain in case of settlement somewhere. Probably we could also destroy the small yeah. houses. Just, for example, here with the finger to update them to the bigger. We'll just make an experiment on this place here, with this probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 houses. Destroy them with the finger, and then look what happens. Or even more. So now, no, not place totem, but sculpt the land. Indeed, we get more room, I think. So now we destroyed about 12 houses, and we have now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But these two are the bigger ones, and this also. So probably it makes sense what we are doing here. Anyway, we have a place for to build here. I shouldn't concentrate that much on updating because expanding is cheaper and we have a lot of land, so optimizing is for later. And probably we'll set a settlement there. Right, so let's move on by destroying these mountains, or just to make a passage to this place, because I want to colonize this area, and colonizing area always brings with it some sculpting, and in this place, or in this case, we have a lot of sculpting. 
Yeah, also tomorrow the update 1.3 should arrive. So in the next recording we may we might play already on the next update which might bring a lot of new content with with it. And of course I will introduce it to you and show you the new features whatever they will be. Because I don't know them now, okay. but we will, hopefully. Now let's just keep double-clicking and destroy the mountains. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think this should work. Basically the statue of exploration represents more people than necessary for building something in a certain kind. So, I can chop down trees, or at least I will, I'll have to. Right, this is quite good of a stair, so now here we could expand to this place, so we could build a cliff here. makes more sense. Let me think. I have to build on a ground, or on a ground level, which will later on be the same. So it will be probably this one. So we should stick to it and make a cliff here. At this place probably somewhere. And now unsculpt the whole rest. This should work quite well. So I have the passage here, and now we're forming the cliff here, or sculpting. Again, thanks to the person who said me about the sculpting and the destroying trees thingy, it really saved my hand from serious injuries because of double clicking. Although I have to double click now for the sculpting, but this isn't that annoying. Right, so I have now 17 minutes, so it should be episode 35 now, and I think I'll make it today to 40 minutes, so it will be 4 episodes, because the update will arrive on Friday and probably, hmm, or I'll just make it a whole full hour, I don't know, well, I'll get to it later. So now we have this cliff thingy, right, like this, and now we should destroy this whole place to make it this common ground here. And we will do just as well probably here, forming a cliff again and so on. Right. And we have to get against some belief. Because we have only 17,000 left, and I don't like to have only a bit of belief. So we will go at 10k, we will move to the south again, back to the roots, and get our belief. Right. Now, what to tell about expansion? I actually would like, really would like to know what is hidden on the other side of this map, or is there hidden anything? And at which point they will connect to some kind of multiplayer world like they used in Curiosity. Because of course Curiosity was very useful for Goddess later on. And I would really like to know what they make out of it. Not that it just was an experiment to find out the God of Gods. Who well, actually won't be the God of Gods forever. Right, like this, it should work. Great. Now this one, we have a great stair down to this ground level here. Yeah, I like that. Right. This is getting pretty easy now. So we can place a totem here. And... Oh no, what have I done? The Statue of Exploration now 
automatically sent about 100 people here.